Hello, all signs. Welcome to your bonus daily reading for this weekend. Um, I just wanted to say thank you for tuning in. This is going to be a reading on something that you should be hearing around a current situation, around what your next move can be, uh, where you find yourself in your love situation at this point in time. I understand we're all dealing with different emotions and we're all at different stages in our love lives. Um, however, I did want to pull out some cards. I feel like that universe wants you to know um, or maybe some guidance that can be helpful for you um, where you currently find yourself so um, this can be for any sign watching so please consider it a message from your spirit guides um, I'm now going to pull out some cards I haven't um, premeditated these cards these are going to be cards pulled at random and it's going to be advice for your current situation okay so let's start off by pulling out um, some cards, some things you need to know um, about your current situation, where you find yourself in um, romantically speaking, what you need to know if you're watching this, what is it that you um, should be aware of as you trod forward in your current circumstances. Okay, so let's... Uh, Let's pull out some cards. Okay, there is a partnership that currently is around a lot of you. It's the Empress and the King of Cups energy. Now, in the Tarot deck, these two wouldn't be overly compatible. So I'm seeing that there is a fairly, maybe a recently new union or a new person that's come into your life or maybe you're giving things another chance, for example. But there's a newness around this connection or there's an excitement. Um, this or this may have been some sort of recent offer. There is some sort of something recent about this connection that's coming up. Now, outwardly, I would say that the two of you don't appear to be compatible um, to other people for some reason. There's some sort of key differences in your lives, uh, maybe in your career choices, um, your values, etc. So I'm seeing the difference in the Empress and the King of Cups. Um, so outwardly, it would appear there's there's some sort of incompatibility. And I feel like the guidance is with the Four of Wands is to give something a chance right now. Now, the words be, be patient come to mind. Um, the words are the words that come to mind are don't always listen to what people tell you. It's about to really, really follow your heart in the situation. Um, there is something you intuitively feel very strongly about with that King of Cups. This is Pisces energy. There is something you intuitively feel about this person or about this connection. And I feel like your intuition is calling out to you and telling you about something because this is a union that can promise a strong commitment. The Four of Wands is, is the promise of something long term. Uh, it can be the promise of marriage. It can be the promise of an exclusive union um, or it's celebration of love. So I feel like there's a celebratory stage you're coming in together with, with this person, even though there's a lot of differences. And a lot of you at this stage can argue there's more differences than similarities between the both of you where you stand right now. But I feel like the journey that you have to walk on, the emotional journey with the moon, um, is still ahead of you. Now, the Three of Wands is, is, is guidance, is your spirit guides telling you that this is a long-term commitment um, or you will be making future plans with this person. And I love this Three of Wands card because, yes, in some instances, it can be symbolic of a third-party situation. Not to me, however. I interpret it as a card of looking to the future, planning to the future, or setting future goals. So I'm seeing that this person is going to be coming up either for you in the future again, if you have recently decided to leave them. Um, I want to touch on that a little bit later, but I do want to say that I feel like there is a horizon or there is something you have to explore with this person. This very connection, in fact, is going to change you in the future somehow. So as we are in the present, we're currently living out our future. So I want to say that something that occurs between you and this person is something that's going to affect you in the in the long term future. And you're actually going to look back at this connection and really notice the significance that you have or that you have encountered with this person. And isn't that fantastic? So seeing that in the cards, um, 
I feel like this is the journey. The Eight of Cups is telling me it's a journey. I do want to mention for some of you, there is a partnership. You have lived it and you feel like it's time to journey on. There is a message on this side is that you want to move on and you want to move forward. But I would say give things a chance and try to be patient and try to meet each other halfway before you walk away entirely. If some of you have decided adamantly that you want to exit a relationship or a connection or maybe you need time to do some soul searching maybe you need time to date other people you need time to figure out who you are and what it is that you want and that's okay because god or the universe is telling you that opportunities will come to you um, blessed opportunities fated opportunities will come to you and for some of you that could mean a new connection entirely um, and that's sort of ahead in the future being on the right hand side of course has an element of mystery Mystery. So this is a, a connection that's um, you should enjoy the element of surprise. But I do want to say there there is an element of patience that comes with the Ace of Pentacles because I feel like you're currently in a transformational energy, uh, and I feel like you're changing paths in your life, especially in your love life. It's almost like you have to walk through an archway, and I I can almost promise you that this relationship is going to be the is going to be the um, the catalyst for you walking into this uh, next part of your life and like I said there's a long-term potential here so it's like a transformation that will change your long-term um, your long-term vision or your long-term self or your long-term goals in love it, it really is transformational there's an attachment for some of you that you may have to walk away from in order for this to work Again, Pisces and Cancer energy, both are very intuitive signs, both are water signs. So there's heavy water connection, uh, a heavy water energy around this connection. So there's love that exists. It may not have been confessed um, or revealed um, or uh, expressed necessarily um, right now, but that doesn't mean that it will, um, it, it won't because the, the, the moon is like when we are super attached, we're emotional about this person, we're sensitive about them. When, says, when someone says something wrong in your ear about them, you want to defend them, you want to protect them, you even come into this energy where you start maybe hating on the person trying to give you advice or hating on the person who's telling you, hey, you should leave this person, hey, you can do better, do better. Or maybe they're siding with you when you've had an argument with them and then you find yourself feeling angry like, why are they against me and this person? They're saying bad things. You know, know that that's that protective water energy that's coming out. But water energy is also love, okay? It's also deep love. We've got the subconscious here. So for a lot of you, this connection is currently activating subconscious desires, thoughts, intentions, and all these wonderful things that are coming up around it. So don't ignore this message if you see it. I feel like you might have been drawn to it for a reason if you've clicked on it. Sometimes that's just it in life. Sometimes these messages come to us. Yes, sometimes we can accept them. Other times, not necessarily. Um, but, you know, sometimes you have to trust that the messages that are coming to you, maybe there's something here for you. Maybe not right now, but maybe in the future. Either way, I feel like this was an exciting message and I do think it's got long-term potential. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you again for watching and hopefully we shall be catching up very soon. Oh, and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe as well. So um, thank you again, everyone. Much love, um, happy, um, happy thoughts, happy intentions. And until next time, bye for now.